talking about the Virginia and Kentucky resolutions, and I understand them. But what are the Virginia and Kentucky resolutions? To understand them, we must go back to the roots, to the reason they even exist. We're currently in the period of John Adams' presidency. At the time, the French Revolution was currently raging in France. The new United States government and its president were worried about a revolution erupting in the U.S. John Adams devised a plan, and soon, the Alien and Sedition Acts were released. These acts included the Alien Friends Act, the Alien Enemies Act, the Naturalization Act, and the Sedition Act. The Alien Friends Act allowed the president to deport any alien who was deemed or considered dangerous without fair trial or any type of jury. The Alien Enemies Act allowed the same thing, but during wartime, with the addition of the ability to imprison any alien considered dangerous. The Naturalization Act extended the amount of time needed to live in the United States to become a citizen from two years to 14 years. The Sedition Act made it illegal to publicly speak out against the government or the president. John Adams felt like public criticism would weaken the nation's government and thought the Sedition Act would be a good way to further silence the Democratic Republican news and media. This was a direct violation of the First Amendment, by the way. These acts caused a large outbreak in unrest, but due to the Sedition Act, nobody could speak out against the act. As a result, the Virginia and Kentucky resolutions were released. Thomas Jefferson and James Madison met in secret and devised a set of resolutions to the Alien and Sedition Acts. James Madison predominantly wrote the Virginia Resolution, and Thomas Jefferson predominantly wrote the Kentucky Resolutions. They had to keep quiet about what they were writing, risking arrest or even imprisonment for writing the resolutions to the Sedition Act. Many people were arrested for speaking out against the government or even openly criticizing it. Which leads us into our topic, the Virginia and Kentucky Resolutions. These resolutions were released, respectively, by, Tem by Thomas Jefferson and James Madison in, in 1799. They worked together to collect their ideals before separating to write their own resolutions along with the agreement that they had discussed. The Virginian resolutions were printed, printed in the fin Philadelphia Gazette of the United States, January 8, 1799. You see, while these acts were designed to keep the country from splitting into civil war, these laws were not only ineffective, but unconstitutional. Many of these acts had directly violated many rules of the Constitution that the federal government itself was created on. The resolutions even went as far as to warn that if the federal government was allowed to continue with these actions, that a monarchy would be inevitable. The states felt, that, felt an obligation to their rights regarding unconstitutional laws and self-governing. The Constitution states that powers not delegated to the federal government belong to the states or the people. The states argued that the Alien and Sedition Acts were void because the federal government assumed powers that did not belong to them. The Sedition Act even violated the very, the fir very first principle on which the United States Constitution was created, the First Amendment and the right to freedom of speech and expression. The Virginia and Kentucky resolutions were completely rejected by the 14 other states at the time. Four of the states didn't even respond, and the other ten publicly announced their disapproval of the resolutions. The resolutions claimed that the federal government had no right to govern the aliens in the states, and that it was the state's job to write and job and right to protect, aid, and govern any aliens within its jurisdiction. They also stated that the Alien Friends Act and Alien Enemies Act were unconstitutional because the president himself did not have the right to deport anyone, especially not without fair trial or jury, as the Constitution stated that you were obligated to. They also stated that removing immigrants after migration is the same as prohibiting migration, which contradicts the Constitution. The two states declared that they could not sit by and accept these acts. They made it clear that they were still a part of the United States and that they were wildly against these laws and that they were unconstitutional and dangerous to the United States people themselves. They stated that because these acts were all unconstitutional, that they were void and of no force or effect as a whole. They felt that they were trying to take the power of self-government from the states as well as many other unstated powers that were delegated to them. The Virginia and Kentucky Acts, the Virginia and Kentucky Resolutions reiterated that no U.S. authority of any kind, no matter how high of an authority, could deny, change, or ignore any essential rights of a person under any circumstance. We already recorded this. And Fun fact. the original document of the Kentucky Resolutions was lost in a fire. They searched for a copy somewhere else, and one was found in the Governor of Massachusetts archives in pristine condition. It was read and quickly became the official document. 
At the time of the Alien Sedition Acts was predominantly Federalist, and the Federalist Party con controlled the House. Many citizens at the time were concerned about increasing European and French immigrants from the ongoing wars. The Alien Acts were a response to that concern. The Alien Enemies Act has been kept to this day, though the Alien Friends Act expired. You know, I'm something of a citizen myself. Shut up. Anyways, James Madison thought that the federal government and Federalist Party had abused the proper and necessary clause in the Constitution by expanding the federal government's reach and laws past its intended purposes and rights. Jefferson went as far to believe as that the Alien and Sedition Acts would be the cause of another war involving the United States citizens. Madison actually left Congress in 1798, but many knew of his and Jefferson's relations and consigning beliefs. Madison warned against a monarchy, and Jefferson warned against a war. In his draft, Jefferson even claimed that the states had the power to nullify federal laws or actions that were believed to be unconstitutional by the state. The claim was highly controversial and was later, later redacted and not included in the final release of the resolutions. Jefferson and Madison struggled to find an appropriate response to the Alien Acts, with every federal judge being a Federalist. They received little help from other states, and many of the other states publicly denounced it. Madison claimed that the resolutions were never actually meant to be used to stop or block or a law or action the federal government had created, but rather were made in political opposition to the Alien and Sedition Acts, specifically not to be used any farther. The Alien and Sedition Acts expired after Thomas Jefferson won the presidency in 1801. The Alien, Acts and, the Alien and Sedition Acts expired after Thomas Jefferson won the presidency in 1801. In conclusion, the Virginia and Kentucky resolutions were a political response to the Alien and Sedition Acts that pointed out many flaws and the unconstitutionality of the acts.